Hockey 605. We're visiting with Lee Hegdahl, who is the JV boys coach for the Brookings Rangers. You guys just had another great game tonight. Yeah, they played a decent third period, and I think the first period we did all right. We had to make some adjustments in the second there. Not too bad. So how long have you had hockey going on here in Brookings? Since the 80s, mid-80s, when we started back in the old center over by where... Uh, Heck, they make windows there now. Larson's had one over there. Then this one's been here 20 years now. Yeah, I think my first game was over there a long time ago. Yeah, it's a nice facility and done some improvements. And it's great to have the Varsity State Tournament here again this year. So It's a beautiful facility. Um, our first time here tonight, and we're really enjoying it. So, Coach Hegdahl, how, did you play hockey yourself growing up, or how did you get into the position of coaching here? Oh, I played when I was young, and then I kind of got out of it when the Depression went on in the 80s there, and then uh, I got into coaching when my youngest one started. I got back into it a little bit and had to learn how to skate myself again, but <laughs> moved up with him a little bit, went to the girls' program. I've been back and forth some, and so I don't know, I've coached 11th, 12th year now at different levels here. So you know what you're doing by now? Oh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think so. You guys have, have a really strong tradition of some excellent hockey here in Brookings, um, and now you have the Brookings Blizzard to watch as well. Yeah, it's nice having them guys around. It gives you another opportunity at that next level for kids to see what it's going to take to get there. And uh, So it's nice to have them here. Hopefully our numbers will start increasing, but we'll have to see. Well, and it's it's a hockey is one of those sports that's really just starting to take off in South Dakota. It's been here for a while, but it seems like it's growing. Yeah, some of the association numbers are down a little bit, but I think I think you're seeing more athletes playing hockey now rather than just kids just coming out because it's something else to do. So that's nice to see. Well, now your, your um, season is going to be winding down here, state tournament coming up before too long. What is your record so far? I am not sure. We just have the one loss last weekend against Pierce, so we're doing pretty good. You know, we got a rematch against them tomorrow, so it's kind of the grudge match. So oh, nice we're going to be here for that one. That would be a good one to be here for. So. Um, now, with ho with hockey in general, it's it's a high school sport, and it's been a high school sport for a long time, but not a sanctioned sport. Has there been any talk about that happening? No, not yet. You know, the schools haven't got on. They just added soccer this year. I mean, it it takes a long time. It's it's not a it's hard for schools to be able to have ice facilities. That's probably why it's going to probably remain club hockey for a few years yet. You know. Well, not only that, but the equipment. Yeah, crazy. yeah, the equipment. But it's not too bad because you can usually wear it a couple of years, you know, for the kids. But, you know, you just look at, like, Zambonis and that, what they cost, what a facility costs to put up. and It's not a cheap investment. Yeah, and I'm sure the schools aren't interested in taking on that expense. Well, tell us a little bit about the game tonight. Who are some of your standout players for you? Well, I think Colton Cruz did a good job on the forwards this year, this weekend, you know, or today, I guess. <laughs> had some nice shots in that. You know, our defense played well. We had a couple of weird bounces on there, but... For the most part, I think they did a pretty good job back there, moving the puck, getting it forward. You know, the Fords, I just think it's all around in the third period. I think as a team, we did a good job, probably one of our best periods this season. But like I say, we've been working on some things this in practice. we got some other things definitely to work on. So hopefully we keep improving, getting ready for state. Well, when you get three goals in one period, that's a, that's a pretty good one for you. Yeah, we came out like we came out ready to skate that third. You know, we made a couple adjustments. I talked about getting the puck in deep and running the cycle and playing our systems that you know Justin Kirkwell works with the you know, our varsity players, and we're passing that down through everybody. So we're trying to get our systems into place, and hopefully we can keep working on them. Well, it looks like you've got them in place and are, are marching on toward the state tournament. I know, Coach, you have a varsity game coming up that you're going to want to be in there for. We appreciate you taking some time with us at Hockey 605, and look forward to catching up with you tomorrow. All right, thanks.